My name is Les Rice. I'm with the uh, Army Corps of Engineers. I'm in the 4B uh, section program of the Operator Trainee Program. Uh, behind us here, we're in Thurman uh, Powerhouse. This is one of seven units that we are currently standing on here. Uh, they are rated at 54 million watts each. Uh, roughly one unit can power around 54,000 homes. Okay, now we're down here uh, below the generator. Uh, we're actually standing on top of the head cover. Now the head cover is what separates the lake water from the inside of the powerhouse. Now below our uh, lake head cover here uh, is the turbine. The turbine is actually connected to the shaft that we see here. The shaft uh, rotates at 100 RPMs as governed by the generator uh, above us. All right, this is our main power exciter. Uh, our exciter is responsible for being able to create the magnetic field in our rotor. Uh, the reason that we need this is because our rotor is not a permanent magnet generator. Uh, since it's not a permanent magnet generator, we can use our exciter here to be able to boost our bulk voltage on the system itself. So if the system starts getting lagged, uh, lagged down a little bit, our voltage creeps a little high, we can adjust that from here. Behind me here you see the tainter gates, also known as the flood gates uh, here at Thurman. Uh, there is a total of 23 gates. Uh, they can be lifted up to a maximum of 40 feet. Uh, to give you any idea of that amount of water that these tainter gates can hold back, uh, the, must, the most that the city of Augusta can uh, actually handle is around a foot and a half of all the gates open uniformly. Uh, so a total of uh, a foot and a half will be around 40,000 CFS. All right, now we're in the penstock area of the powerhouse. Uh, this is the actually the lowest point within the powerhouse. That the penstock is actually the pipe, if you will, that connects the headwater, which is to uh, the right of us here behind this wall. Uh, the headwater then travels down through the penstock, actually goes to the scroll case where it enters into the turbine. It actually turns the turbine. When the turbine turns, it turns the shaft, which in turn turns the generator. All right, behind me here, uh, you see the main power transformers. Now the main power transformers is connected to our main units. Our main units produce 13,800 volts. It comes to our transformer. That's considered low voltage. The transformers turns it from 13,800 volts into 115,000 volts. Uh, the reason that we want to go there and transform that power is because 115,000 volts, as your volts goes up, your current goes down. As a result, we can use a lot smaller uh, power lines uh, for residential areas, as well as the current being lowered down uh, is also a plus. All right, here we're in the control room. Now we've seen the generators, we've seen the turbines, transformer deck, and so forth. And all those controls are located here within the, uh, the control room. Uh, now the control room, as you see behind us on each panel, uh, we can monitor each one of our generators as well as any of our lines that are located uh, out in our switch yard. Uh, now we produce the power here in the, uh, in the powerhouse, control it through the uh, control room here, and actually uh, can route the power, either it be Georgia or South Carolina.